today we're going to be tackling place value and we're going to learn and kind of refresh our brains on how we read and write um, numbers in different forms. So in your table of contents we're going to write read and write numbers to the millions place. And we are going to start on page one and we'll see how far we go. Okay, so today we are going to work on place value. So I'm going to write my objective at the top. So I'm going to write Today I will read and write numbers to the millions place. Okay, so I want to review really quickly standard form. Now standard form, let's define it. Standard form equals a way to write numbers. So I want to review how we read a number to start. So let's say our number is Um, okay, so here is our number. Now sometimes it can get tricky to read a larger number, so I want to show you a trick. So I want you to take a different color pen or pencil out, and I want you to put a box around this number. Now, when you look at a big number, sometimes it can be overwhelming and it can be a little tricky. But using this box method, it will help you to read it correctly. So when we look at this number, we know how to say this, right? We know that this number is 971. And when we look at this number, we know that this is 342. So if you're able to say those numbers, you're going to do just fine. What I want us to look at and remember is that each number or digit, we can refer to this as a digit, holds a special value, right? So we know this is in the hundreds place. So we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So I want you to look really closely at this comma. If you can remember that this comma means thousand, then you are going to do just fine because you know you can say this number and you know you can say this number. So I want you to, I'm going to show you how to read this. I would look at this number and knowing that this comma means thousand, I can read it and say 342,971. So just knowing this comma means the thousands place will help you to read the number. Now I want us to add another number. Let's add a four here and let's put a box. And we need a comma. So now we have another comma. Does anyone know what this comma stands for with place value? You're right. This stands for the millions place. Okay, so we know that if we take away all these numbers, we know how to say this number, it's four. So now that we know what these commas stand for, it will help us to remember how to say the word in standard form. So I can read it like this, 4,342,971. Okay, let's do another one. Let's say our number is... Oops. <laughs> um, 
Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my boxes around. Now, these boxes stand for the periods. So this is the ones period. So you can write ones. This box stands for thousands period. And this one stands for million, which can also help us with the commas. So I want you to draw your arrows and write the words. So we have our thousands place coming up, thousand, and then we have our millions period here. Okay, so let's try reading this one together. Five million three hundred sixty-seven thousand four hundred and ninety-one. Now notice that when I read this number, I did not say and anywhere. I just read it through. Saying the word and, which can sometimes come naturally, is incorrect. We will not use the word and until we work with decimals. So this is a whole number. So we're just going to say it all the way through using those boxes and using our arrows to help us remember what period we're working in. Okay? So that's what standard form is. Now let's shift to reviewing the second way to read and write a number, and that is through word. Oops. word form. Word form is just putting what you're saying and putting into writing. So it's going to be using words to describe number. So let's pull this number. 5,367,491. All I'm going to do is put these into words. So I want you to watch me and write with me. So I'm going to work with I'm going to work from left to right. So I'm going to write 5 and then what am I working with? million. And I'm going to add that comma. Okay, so here's our first box, five million. Then I'm going to write this number, 367, just how I say it, 367. So I'm going to write 367, but you don't want to forget what period it's in, thousand. So I'm going to squeeze it in, and I'm going to put my comma and rebox this. This is my second box. Oops, got, got to bring my comma back in. And then our last one is 491. So I'm just going to bring it down here, and I'm going to write 4 hundred ninety one and then I'm going to put my box because that's my final place value period and see how this final word matches the period you're in so that's how we know okay now I don't want you to worry about spelling or if you can spell it I just want you to be able to understand if you can recognize it and if you can kind of get the gist, okay? So we learned how to read and write in standard form and we learned how to read and write in word form. Now tomorrow we're going to work on expanded form, but today I just want you to draw your line and I'm going to give you two problems to bring to class tomorrow that I want you to work on tonight. Here is your first problem. Let's do So 
So do a one, circle it. Okay, so these are gonna be the two problems that you're gonna work on tonight. And I want you to use the boxes and use the arrows if you need to. So for standard form, I want you to use those arrows and use the boxes. And then for word form, I want you to use the boxes um, and make sure not to forget about your commas. Okay, so here's the first problem I want you to bring in tomorrow. Let's do, write the number in word form and here is your number so leave some space so you have room to write it out and then two let's do let's do write this number in standard form. Okay, so here is my number. I'm gonna give it to you in word form and you're gonna switch it into standard. So here's my number, 2 million, seven, hundred, Twelve thousand one hundred thirty seven. Okay, so you're going to do your boxes and your arrows for standard form.